Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a uh, an advanced uh, budgeting tutorial that I went through, and I went through an entire model that I developed. Uh, and so, um, if you do want to review the entire one, I'll leave a link below in the description, um, and plenty of budgeting things that we that um, that I went over in the, in the in the Enterprise DNA webinar series session. But today what I want to showcase is differentials and how you can utilize these within your reports, within your models, um, to, to really highlight uh, deviations, uh, deviations between say forecasts or budgets or, or, or something of that nature. Um, I, I think these are really great elements to add to your reports, uh, but you don't have to make them the focal point of your report. You can just make them a small element that, that just really showcase say, you know, big deviations and because that's all that really matters. And so what I'm really narrowing in on it here is these results on the um, left hand side. So I'm, I'm showcasing in this particular case, because this is all about budgeting, you know, actually versus budgets and out here I'm, I'm showcasing well that's on a daily perspective and here I'm showing actuals versus budgets from the cumulative perspective and in this case I'm showing actuals versus last year from a cumulative perspective as well so you can see there that in a very small um, space inside the report that you, we're actually showcasing a lot of information and if someone was say dynamically moving around our report so say we wanted to very quickly change the time frame right or change the selection in terms of um, you know the the products that we're looking at from a um, budgeting performance. Well, it's very quickly going to showcase to us the um, the results, right? It's very quickly going to showcase, you know, is there any substantial deviations in our results? And, you know, just by looking at what we've got here, check it out. We can see, okay, well, from a daily perspective, I can expand it. You can see um, maybe some improvement to the colors there, but you can see, well, yes, there's been a pretty significant deviation, you know, and the same, you can actually see, show, showcase the same inside this cumulative total pattern. You can see, okay, well, this lighter green has actually very quickly deviated from the cumulative result. And that can also be referenced from you know this um, highlighted in this in this um, chart element down here, and also cumulative versus last year showcases something too. So how do we create these? That's that's the, that's the key thing I want to go through. How do I actually create these? Now it's actually it's you know if you can actually get to the point where you get the results, um, you know the outright results, right? So in this case, you know I'm showcasing the cumulative sales versus cumulative budgets. Now, um, if you can actually get these results, you can actually move to these um, to these differentials and um, these deviation results pretty quickly. Um, and it, it really, all it, it means, all all it takes is utilizing this measure branching technique that I talk about a lot. Now, measure branching is where you, where you literally just branch from your core measures. So you you might start with say sales, right? But then you move into a branch of cumulative totals. Well, we can actually then start combining um, certain elements from these branches, right? So so I can go cumulative budgets minus my cumulative sales, and and all of a sudden I have a new uh, result, a, devi uh, a deviation result where I can showcase the actuals versus my budgets, right? So let's now just have a quick look at how how we can showcase this. So I'm going to let's just grab so so I've got let's just narrow the time frame here. So I've got a let's turn this into a table. So I've got my cumulative sales here versus my cumulative budgets. Well, if I want to deviate into or, or sorry branch out into the difference between these two, I've got to then branch out. I've got to branch out via my measures, and you'll see you'll see how quite how how easy it is to actually do this. So I've created a measure called actuals to budgets, right? And check out. Um, well, actual to budget is total, total sales minus product budget. But if I wanted to go cumulative difference to budget, it's just exactly the same. All I'm doing is going cumulative sales minus cumulative budgets, right? And that is going to give me that deviation result. And now the great thing about measure branching, the great thing about measure branching is you don't actually need the measures to be showcased inside a visualization to actually showcase the result. And so I can just copy and paste this and then I can go like so. And then this way I get the difference, right? And I think that this showcases things in a really, really effective way. And if, you, if we go and have a quick look at how I've showcased it here, I actually have taken away a lot of the elements inside inside the chart. You'll see that there's no there's no axis. Um, there's no, uh, we would, uh, that would be the x-axis I believe. Uh, there's no x-axis 
text. This is no title or anything like that. It's just it's just a straightforward chart that sort of shows the deviation. It's simplified, and that's why it can take up a small amount of real estate on your report. I feel, but give you a huge amount of information, showcase a huge amount of information. You know, the eye can just glance at it, so your consumers could just look at it. You know, they can make a selection um, like so, and then very quickly be able to see. Okay, well, is is there anything that I should be taking notice of? Is there anything important um, that I can understand in about five seconds? You know, based on on the selection that I'm looking at. Okay, so that's all that I really wanted to cover there. Um, you know, this is uh, I guess is may, maybe a little bit simpler than, than some of the other things that I, that, that I showcase, but I think crucial. I mean, these are all just small elements of your report builds, your report development that do add a lot. You know, showcasing differentials, showcasing deviations. I mean, these are the things outliers. These are the things that you want to be able to notice or pick up um, very quickly, depending on the context that you put on your reports or the filters that you put on your reports. And you know, showcasing these in a in a, in a um, you know piece of real estate in your report and a really effective way you know actually brings um, your reports really to life you know really showcases your insights really really well and you know and it's, all it takes is just a bit of effective measure branching using the measure branching technique is, is, is how you actually get there now I will um, I will put a uh, a link below in the description to the full recording of the advanced budgeting workshop uh, that I ran through covered a huge amount of techniques um, there's of so much to learn um, from that from that one workshop uh, basically, we, I, I started from scratch and showed you how to create this entire report. Um, so, you know, this is a huge amount to learn, especially if you're focused on budgeting. But, you know, there's lots of different visualization techniques, measure branching techniques, um, you know, uh, modeling techniques, a whole, whole raft of things I went through in that session. So, so plenty to learn. You can also, if you want to have a play around with this, uh, with, with this report, you can actually go to the showcase page uh, at Enterprise DNA. Um, dot co and uh, via through the showcase page you've got a huge amount of showcases you can have a look at but if you look at um, currently it's one of the latest ones released by Enterprise DNA and you can actually utilize the live demo you can actually click on this and have a play around and have a look at um, and how, how it's all created so there's plenty plenty to learn not 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 just from this one but from from many actually um, and um, yeah, but if you want to narrow, narrow in on, on this one, you, you, you certainly can. Okay, so all the best with um, utilizing these techniques in your reports. I think there's lots of um, you know great ways that you can utilize these in some in some way, shape, or form. So hopefully you learned a bit from this video. Okay, all the best. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.